Thursday morning, 2 a.m. It's actually 1.50. I got called at 1.30 for 2 a.m. undocking the ship. We're leaving Tacoma now. I got off at 8 p.m. Talked to the lady for like an hour, hour and a half. I showered. I got to bed around 10 or so. They called me at 1.30 a.m. to undock the ship. Undocking. These are one of the luckier days that I get to take a 45 minute nap before I have to go back up to watch. Sometimes, you know, undocking can take an hour to an hour and a half. Or sometimes I might get called out at 1.30 or 2 a.m. and not have any time to take a nap. Or it'll be, you know, we'll get I'll get back up to my room by like 3 a.m. and there's no point in taking a nap for 20 minutes before going to watch. So I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna go up to the bridge. 7.45 a.m. Thursday. I just finished my first morning watch. Thursdays, my first watch is usually with a pilot because we're leaving Tacoma. We undock this morning. We have a pilot on board. He's off now. When the pilot's on board, somebody has to be at the wheel at all times. Conveniently, the ship actually brings up the AV maintenance guys as standby lookouts. This morning watch for Thursdays goes by relatively quick. With uh, the, the standbys, the AV maintenance guys up there will rotate on the wheel every 30 minutes or typically every hour. While we're going through the, the shipping lanes, it's, it's a lot of dialing in because we're still on autopilot on the long straights. We do have to do go in hand for the bigger turns and everything, but that hour on the wheel goes by pretty quick. If we had to do it for four hours straight, standing in one spot, it would be torture. 
And there are some ships, there's a lot of ships that do that. I mean, my first ship, I had to stand at the wheel for four hours straight. We had six hour watches, the European watches, and I steered for four hours straight sometimes. So it's really nice to have a standby. It just makes the time go by quicker. That's my first four hours. I only have two more hours to go because I did the undocking this morning. That was the first half of my overtime. So now I'm gonna work from eight until 10. And typically Thursday mornings for overtime, we're securing the cargo for C. So I'm gonna get into that. And then it's pretty much my day. I got my four hours of watch in the evening, but I don't know if I'm a, I might be able to get a clip of that because I think the sun sets right as my watch starts. We'll see. So that's it for Thursdays. Typically, on average, I do get woken up in the middle of my sleep, 1.30, 2 a.m. to undock the ship. There are rare occasions that we leave a little later, and in that case, I will work eight until noon doing cargo. On average, they wake me up in the middle of my sleep for undocking, and then I just, that's like my first half of the overtime, and then my second half, eight to 10, is doing chains, securing the chains. I get off at 10, and then I usually take a nap for maybe two hours to make up for the previous night's missing sleep. I wake up at noon, one o'clock, you know, I fiddle around, play with videos, make videos, whatever. And then I go to my evening watch at 15.45 until 19.45, and then I am done with the entire day. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. I do believe I have a little clip of me standing watch in the evening. So cue the outro.